All right, and I'm sorry, guys, I'm working on a feature. <laughs> so you talk a lot about the middle class you have throughout the campaign. I'm hoping that you can help define it for me, and I'm thinking both, like, numerically. Where is the, in terms of policy, tax policy, where do you put the middle class? And then also philosophically, what is the middle class to you? What, what does it mean? Well, the middle class is uh, the uh, social and economic engine of our country. It is in uh, so many ways a reflection of the success of the United States from the very beginning uh, to create greater economic opportunity for people willing to work for it. And it has been one of the uh, premier historic accomplishments of our country going back uh, decades, if not longer. And the middle class is um, a, a hard to define economic target. The way I talk about it is to say, we know what the median income in America is, but if you're living in high cost areas, if you have uh, kids you're trying to educate and send to college, uh, if you face uh, health care costs that are beyond uh, the average, uh, staying in and progressing up in the middle class takes more money in some parts of America than it does in others. So my pledge has been that I will not raise taxes on the middle class, and I have defined it as I will not raise taxes on anyone making less than $250,000 because in high cost places in America, that is a, um, uh, in many ways, a cutoff that makes sense. It's something that President Obama had uh, um, adhered to. It's something my husband adhered to. Because when you look at the information and uh, across the country, I mean, housing is so much more expensive in lots of places than other places, and, and you understand uh, why we've said it at that. So the middle class is both real and aspirational, and I want to make sure that it remains strong and it gives people a sense of security and confidence and optimism about their futures. So, so